Amber here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using some new products that I have not used on my channel um, and I kind of wanted to get it out there in a space and time for Valentine's Day. This is a get ready with me but that is a talk through. So if you guys are interested how I achieve this soft Valentine's Day look including hair then keep watching. All right, Jim, so I decided to do one eye off camera because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with these stacks, but I kept it pretty simple and soft. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I have not done this eye as I just previously mentioned. So first things first, I personally like to do my brow before I do the lid. Um, no particular reason. Uh, you can go in any order that you that works best for you. But um, I like to carve out my brow with my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW45. You know, I realized that I haven't done my brows on camera in quite a bit of time. So at least this way you guys can get a gist of how I go about creating my brow. Um, I do like to go with my Sigma Flat Definer Brush and I essentially just carve out my brow even before I put any product. And you guys, um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I did microblading. So she's still alive and well. So that's why you're seeing it kind of already filled in and full. I just like to go in with my brow product and really just kind of fill in any particular gaps. And then I bring the rest of the foundation, I'm sorry, concealer on my eye to kind of cancel out any darkness and create a base for when I'm ready to start with shadows. Right in with my beauty, um, my brow products, and I've been obsessing over this brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I'm in the shade five. What I love most about this pencil is that I'm getting a two for one. I get my spoolie, which you know I always lose spoolies. I don't even know how that happens. It's like Obia in my house. And then you get this really nice pencil roll up pencil um, and I find that even though I used to use um, what is it called spike back in the day from mark mark what's happening today loves <laughs> when I used to use spike back in the day with Mac I just felt like it I used to always break the tip and with this one it just is strong enough to handle my efforts and I just like to clean and follow that line that I created with the concealer and carve out my brows. So to set my eye, I'm just gonna use my setting powder, which is my mix of my Sasha Buttercup setting powder with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep. And I'm just applying this with my Beauty Blender and setting that concealer in place. And the beauty of putting a powder on your lid is that the shadows that you use later will blend out really seamlessly. I have three stacks from Melt Cosmetics. One is the Rust, is it Rust stack? Yeah, Rust stack. I have the Love Sick stack, and then I have the She's in Parties. She, She's in Parties stack. So I'm just gonna use all three of them to create this lid and just try to use as much of the product as possible since I've really never used any of my Melt stacks on camera. I'm really, excited like these are the ones the the rust stack is the one that i've probably used the most just because of their neutral palettes here so i'm going to go in with my first shade which is rubbish which is very similar to my lid color right now especially after setting it with the sasha buttercup but i'm going to apply this because any other shadow that i apply either on top or just below it's going to blend out and create a, a really nice gradient effect so i'm going to apply this directly into my crease and then you just start building up to give you the most color payoff. Yeah, it's very similar to the Sasha. What I wanna go in with is, from the Rust stack, is Rust. <laughs> this is a really nice, um, like red, Moroccan type shade. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter what eye look I'm doing, I need a brown red, or a reddish brown rather. And I'm gonna apply this directly into the crease.
Next, I'm gonna go into the, what do we call this one? She's in parties stack. And I'm gonna use the shade Mean Streak, which is like a really pretty eggplant, but it kind of shows up a little bit deeper on my lids. I'm just gonna go in with a, this is a Morphe M433. I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corner of my lid. Next up, to create some lid space on my mobile lid, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Dark 3 Amande, which is the shade that I'm in even in the Radiant Cream Concealer. It just works for our skin tone. And I'm taking a MAC 242 like concealer brush, and then I'm gonna create the lid space on my mobile lid. The shade that's on my lid is called She's in Parties. Such an interesting name. <laughs> so it's this really pretty um, like pinkish purple, definitely leaning more on the purple side, but you can see the hints of pink in it. Um, and I'm gonna use that same 242 brush, but I'm gonna wet it a little bit because I want this sheen to really pop on my lid. I'm gonna tap into Mean Streak again, this shade here, and I'm just going to bring and meet my lid color to that outer V, and then blend up, just on the outer corner. Not creating a wing today, I just want uh, a really thin line to hide the band of my strip lash. I'm gonna prep my lash for my falsies and I'm using my Queen Collection False Lash Drama in the shade Very Black. The lash that I'm wearing today are my Lotus Mink Fur Lashes in the number 151. They're not that dramatic, but they do what they need to do and I love how thin the band is and comfortable the wear is. So I'm just gonna pop this one on and be right back. The lashes are on. One thing I wanted to um, be transparent about is that I felt like my lids were a little boring. So I put a little bit of Promiscuous from the Love Stack um, on the outer V. I just applied it with my blending brush that I used to deepen the outer corners. And I just brought it a little over top of that mean streak to create like this purple undertone. Like I just thought it was super pretty. And I'm in the business of trying to use as many shadows as possible. So there you are. So let's just move to face. I'm really excited about this product. This was sent to me via Octoly and Estee Lauder. It's a day wear matte oil control antioxidant moisture gel cream. That's a lot. Obviously, I'm gravitating towards the word dry matte. Uh, I'm sorry, day wear matte. And it says goodbye shine. This refreshing ultra light gel cream smooths on skin and transforms to a silky natural matte finish. It's oil free, oil controlling, oil absorbing. It helps skin minimize shine all day, reduces the looks of pores, helps resist the first signs of aging, includes our powerful proprietary super antioxidant complex to fight free radical damage skin feels fresh smooth soft hydrated now face the day with confidence Dermatolo dermatology dermatologist tested non acnegenic that is a new word for me so that's a lot to say oil control oil controlling day wear mat let's let's dig into it so the beauty is that i'm going to use an estee lauder foundation as well so let's see how it works together. So I'm gonna, oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells great. Oh, she smells good. So for foundation today, we're gonna go in with our Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade 6W2 Nutmeg. 
it's so funny i have a love-hate relationship with this foundation i know people find that this is like the holy grail but sometimes i come across like a little gray to me but it's a w so it has a warm undertone maybe i need to try something a little more neutral jerry's out but i'm gonna apply this on the back of my beauty blender and then just go right in For concealer, we're just going to go in with our Shape Tape from Tarte in the shade Deep and apply this directly under the eye. Lola, chill out. And then for my contour, nothing new here as well. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Earth. I like to put her right in the hollows of my cheek and along my jawline and a little bit on my forehead, depending on the hair. under eye concealer in place I'm gonna go back into that Sasha Laura Mercier mixture that I always use and I'm not really baking I'm just gonna be pressing the powder into the skin so that the cream concealer doesn't move throughout the day set my contour in place I'm going to go in with my Becca cosmetics oops, my Becca cosmetics uh, multitasking perfecting powder and the shade deep bronze For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Extra Dimension Blush in Rosy Cheeks and apply that. I like to apply my blush not on the apples of my cheek, but really above my contour. Just like that. And what I love about the Extra Dimension is that it has like a little bit of sheen to it. It's really pretty. I love using my BH Cosmetics 101 but I think I'm gonna keep it super simple today. And for the highlighter, I'm gonna use my Betty Luminizer. Yeah, my Betty Luminizer, the bronzing banded highlighter. And apply that right in the highest point of my cheekbones. Like I just, this highlighter you guys, like just melts into the skin. And this circular technique really allows it to pop so let's get back into these eyes we have options here you can go dark you can go smoky i'll however always do a lower lash line with a liner or without so i'm going to go in with my pencil brush and let's go back into the rust stack and i'm going to try a different shade this time uh, this one's called love this is called love stick love sick from the love sick um stack and it has more red in it and then I'm just gonna build up on this on my lower lash and then we're gonna put on some lower lash mascara which I always seem to forget Monday through Friday but not in this video and apply that on the lower lash line well we all saw that happen we're gonna let her dry before we remove her but while we're here, we're going to put on a lip. I am going to use one of Melt Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Melancholy. Um, personal preference, you don't have to put on a liner with this because it's actually really an amazing color for deeper skin tones. Like, look at that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. But I don't live in a world with this no liner. I don't live in that world. So while we wait for her to dry, we're going to go ahead and put on some chestnut. go in with melon Kali oh, so and it's definitely an alternative to red like some people may feel like 
Valentine's Day requires red, but it doesn't always have to be. How about Let's set the face. We're gonna be out all night, right? It's dinner, dancing, Valentine's Day. We are going to set our face with Urban Decay, the slick makeup setting spray. All those powders to set in place. You guys, uh, time for the wig. So depending on your skin complexion, you wanna make sure that you get a stocking cap that matches your natural scalp. I am of a deeper skin tone, so I'm gonna go with something a little bit more brown, medium brown versus like that taupe shade that most wigs come with. Um, prior to applying my wig, I'm going to use a little bit of my got to be gel glue <laughs> to um, hold my frontal, I don't have a frontal, to hold my lace closure in place. Um, you can also get the yellow container, which I also have, but um, I'm running out of it. So whatever the personal preference is, some people think that that was a little bit more sturdy. So because I have a lace closure and it's only a four by four, I really only have to apply um, my glue rather just above my hairline because the objective is not to get this in your hair to reduce losing edges. Okay, this is a reduce, this is a, a, a save the edge channel. We're a part of that organization. <laughs> Reaching for my dryer. Next up, I'm using my dryer to set this in place and really create a, tack, a tacky finish. And this hair dryer, you guys, was like 20 bucks, so don't overinvest. Um, it's Revlon Iconic 1875 watt. Nonetheless, I'm gonna dry this on a cool setting, not hot, because I wanna create a tacky finish. Now you can start with installing the wig. So today, what do I call her? I haven't named her. She's not my Chelsea. Chelsea's hanging up there after I washed her. I don't know, you guys. What are we going to call her? Maybe she's giving a little Viola. Not 100% sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'm gonna square her up. I'm all here for a middle part. That's just my personal preference in life. <laughs> so cute. And I'm just gonna line that frontal. Not why keep saying frontal. I'm gonna line this lace closure right where I applied the glue. You guys can use your nails. I'm going to use my rat tail comb to kind of place the lace from the closure onto that product and then kind of because you don't want the oils from your fingers like getting in the mix put my scarf on to hold that in place like so all right there you have it i left it on for about five minutes to just kind of go grab something and there you have it wig in place she's stuck in she's not gonna be moving throughout the evening uh if a gust of wind comes she's not gonna leave you but that is how i apply my closures if it was a frontal it'd be the, actually the same practice except with frontals i keep on a little bit longer my lace closures i take off at the end of the day um i just did some loose barrel curl not barrel curls i used a um what's she called spiral curls girl Woo. um i used a wand to create this like little curl here and i did it on the mannequin and then just brushed it out so I'm kind of feeling it, it's kind of cute. I've never done this with any of my wigs before. But if you guys are interested in any other videos when it comes to wig, wig care, or at least how I, you know, care for my wigs, then definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, that's a cute little Valentine's Day look. Yes, I really enjoyed doing this video, guys, and using Melt Cosmetics products. So if you like this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, you share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're in the loop and know what's going on with future uploads. So until our next video, bye.